So hello fellow Batman collectors, how you going? This is Glenn, back with another video on Goomardi Coins and Banknotes. I think that's how you pronounce it, Goomardi. Don't know, you have to uh, inquire that with the native Australians who actually spoke the actual language, which I forget, somewhere in uh, Queensland anyway. So today is Timor Day, and as you can see, I have some East Timorese Escudo Banknotes. And these are the actual last series because the last series is the easiest series to get and also the most inexpensive. Uh, so the Escudo was introduced in 1959 and it replaced the Pataka. Yes, the same currency they use in Macau of 100 Avos in 1959. And the Escudo was replaced about 5.6 Escudo... 2-1 Pataka, so obviously the Pataka had a higher value than the Escudos. And if you see in the first series, they have actually uh, 1, 3, and 6. So 10, 30, and 60 centavos, 1, 3, and 6 Escudos. Uh, they didn't have a 10 Escudos banknote, they had a 30 and 60, 100, and 500. So there was no 600 Escudos. Um, and that had something to do with the actual conversion rate, although 5.6 is not exactly 6, so uh, there's a little bit of a difficulty in that. And as you can see, I had the banknotes 20, 50, 100, and 500. The 1000 Escudos is actually a quite expensive banknote for this series, although in relative terms it's actually... Probably in the low end of, no, definitely is in the low end of Timorese banknotes. All the Pataka banknotes are actually very expensive. Uh, the 1959 is also pretty expensive and also not very common. I believe that the population of Timor at the time is probably only 100,000. So really, and these are actually high valued banknotes. So in the 1960s, it would have been about 20 escudos to one American dollar. So one American dollar is equivalent to probably about fifteen dollars now. So this would have been equivalent to about fifteen dollars now. It's actually quite a lot of money for a country who that's probably the daily wage. Uh in East Timor now you can actually find information on that on the internet. So a lot of these other banknotes would have been beyond the actual um usage of the actual population because even to today most of the population live in relative poverty so who do we have on these banknotes so they're all pretty much the same so let's look at the 500 we have this guy Regulio de Alexo and he was a a mixed Timorese with some Spanish heritage and he was actually a, uh, not Spanish, Portuguese heritage. And he was actually a patriot. And he was executed by the Japanese during the Second World War. That's why he's on the banknotes, because he fought for uh, the Portuguese government in East Timor. Because during the Second World War, East Timor was actually occupied by the Japanese. Although Macau was never... And it was um, the only part of Portugal that was actually involved in the Second World War. The other provinces, you know, like those in India, were too far from the war. Portugal was pretty was neutral, and Macau was never actually touched because it was a, a key component of Japanese international trade and currency. So basically, this is this is pretty unimportant in the Portuguese Empire. Uh, it was only used for status with the European powers. So here we have the coat of arms of Portugal. So the coat of arms of Portugal, and they had the Chinese on the banknote. So Queen Hendos Escudos, so five hundred there Escudos, and the. You start reading it from here and end there. I know in Chinese sometimes you can start here and end there. 
or top to bottom and you get different signatures so here we have the degree so this is the degree, degree of 19 probably 1962 actually and if you look on the other banknotes it actually has the same decree so 39221 that's probably a Portuguese decree and this is probably a uh, sub revision of it to actually issue the 20 and 50 escudos in 1967 and you can see the signatures are actually different for the actual banknotes um, not too sure which one is the last okay I have pretty much four of the how many we got two four six seven signature series and most of them have um, Francisco Jose Vieira Machado so that's that signature so he's pretty much the governor of East Timor at the time uh, so I believe he was the actual governor of the Bank National Ultramarino and he was actually the administrator probably of um Portuguese Timor. That's just what I get the information of. Uh Wikipedia does have a list of uh governors. They're all military governors and uh a lot of them don't have articles so I'm gonna find it hard to actually get the signatures if you have a cross catalog you can probably actually get the information then on the reverse we actually have the coat of arms of Portuguese Timor so you got the Portuguese coat of arms there and Timor is there and the rest is pretty much the standard Portuguese catalog and as you can see this is actually rusted in the actual banknote so that is a problem with the banknote and here's the seal of the National Bank Ultramarino with a trading ship so it was founded in 1864 so this is pretty similar to other banks that are actually private and the watermark let's see if you can see the watermark so I'll turn the light on you can probably see it a lot better it's the same person who's actually on the actual banknote so and then you've got the serial number, so you can have a maximum of 1 million banknotes. But I would say they actually would have had to produce more for the lower denominations. So maybe they actually just increase one digit. So this has got 10 million banknotes you can actually print. So I would say, go and buy the actual numbers. This is probably the last signature series, because it's over a million. Then you have... Anything with an O at the front is probably one of the first series. Then you have uh, this low series, so that's probably the second, third, and fourth. So what are the actual values of these banknotes? Well, the 20 and 100, you'll probably pick up between 10 and $15 each. So they're actually not a cheap banknote, so you're not going to get them for like $1 or $2. Um... This one's in sequential series, so we have how many? 69, 70, 72, 73. Uh, should be 71 there. So this is, is more of an indication as the last series because in 1976 they would have actually changed over to the rupiah of Indonesia. And uh, a lot of these banknotes would have just not been issued for circulation. Okay, the fifty dollars. You're probably talking about twenty, twenty dollars, roughly in this condition. You'll be purchasing it for. I'd say fifteen to twenty dollars, because it's uh, well, a harder banknote to actually get. The one hundred seems to be the most common, and this is probably like ten to fifteen dollars as well to actually buy. Although in this grade, it's probably closer to ten dollars. And with the actual corroded cereal thread, uh, probably reduce the value a bit more. Then we have the 500. So this one's probably about 20, $30 to $40 to actually buy this banknote. Um, but you can buy ones in lower grade for probably about $25. Uh, 
They usually have pinholes and either folds or tears. Then we have the 1000. The 1000 is good as you'll probably be paying about $50 for that. That would have been a high valued banknote back in between the 60s and 70s. And most of the population probably wouldn't have actually seen that banknote ever because East Timor and Portuguese Timor are basically third world countries, so the value is actually quite high. So, what's the value of this combined uh, series? So, we've got about just say 40. Uh, then we have like 50. Uh, 70, 80, so about $80 here. So if you can get it for under $80, you're actually doing quite good in uh, purchasing these banknotes. And then you can actually, if you want to resell it, you can actually increase it. These ones I won't resell. Uh, I'll just get the 1,000 scooters, make another video, and that will go part of my collection. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I hope this helps you out with Portuguese currency and uh, just have awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you. I'll leave links down below to Timor and keep this hobby awesome.